Hi guys, welcome back. Um, thank you for joining me again. So this is the final update video for the September 2019 hashtag no paper left behind challenge that is being hosted by Daniela Hayes. Now, um, uh, first off, I'm going to recap on what I showed in my previous um, update video. And then I'll show you what I have made since that video. So first off, in that first video, if you saw the first one, then you saw the Ferris wheel. If not, now you're seeing the Ferris wheel. And I used the um, this paper. I used this paper collection, Magic and Wonder, uh, from Echo Park to make everything for this month. So I made a Ferris wheel and then let me turn it around so the it actually spins the seats move so I thought that was pretty cool then I decorated it with the paper from the kit um, and some of the uh, stickers that were in there as well. So we have that. So next I'm going to show you uh, okay this. I did a couple of uh, ATC card envelopes. This is the first one. I really like this one. I think this one is my favorite one out of all the ones I did. Because I, I, I don't know. It just stands out the most. So I like this one the most. And then you have this one. Then on the inside is some uh, ATC cards, but they're not decorated yet. I can go back and decorate those later when um, the occasion arises. Then on the back it has the the um, the part where you put put your information on for the ATC card. And then when you're done filling it out, you just stick one of the ATC cards in there and seal it up. And it has a um, glue dot on the back to close it up so it doesn't mess up the paper once you seal it. So we have that. And then I also did three cards, showed three cards in the last video. So let's start with this one. That was this one. And then you have this one. I didn't show the inside of this one. And then you had this one. So this one was my favorite one from the last video. This card here. So you had the, the three cards. And then I made some treat bags. <clears throat> so this was um, the first one. Really, I need, think I need to put another glue dot on there because I've been opening and closing it. I've been stealing the candy that's in there. <laughs> so yeah, this one. And the, the candy that was in there on the last one is not still in there. I ate that candy. So I replaced it with this just for this video. So this candy will be disappearing sooner than later. So, so it's like three little mini... Uh, candy bars in there and then you just close it up I need to replace the glue dot on that one though and then this is the next one and then this one now these two are the same it's just that the trim is uh, different on the tops and each one have the the cording is hemp cord and each one is tied differently. So this one has a bunch of knots going around down the, the, the cord. And then this one's just a bunch of different twists. And this one is braided like you would braid your little girl's hair. Uh, you probably can't really see it. So that one is braided. 
so that is everything from the first video now I can show you what I have made since the last video I move this stuff out the way okay so I made a couple of more ATC envelopes you have this one this uh, paper has a bunch of cameras all over it. I really like this one too. I like the, the paper. And then I just stuck a sticker on there. And then I probably decorated some more before I actually would send it out. And then you have this one. This one is a vellum envelope. Um, you only see a small bit of vellum. It's like trimmed in vellum. But it has the paper from the kit matted onto it and then this is a sticker from the kit uh, you're never too old to wish upon a star and then it's uh, I used two different papers with the to do this envelope then there's an ATC card and I decorated this one a little bit so it has uh, a few stickers on here the awesome the star and then this wish upon a star which coincides with the envelope and then I matted that sticker onto the uh, white and black piece of cardstock that I um, used my decorative scissors to do that little wavy edge around and then you have that little banner piece in the corner so the only thing I really need to do I mean, I probably could put some more kind of decoration on here. But other than that, I need to put the ATC uh, information part on the back. Just as soon as I can remember where I put it. Because for the life of me, I can't remember where I put the cards that I made to go on the back. It'll come to me eventually. I hope sooner than later. Okay, so we have those. Then I have this... this the smaller piece of uh, uh, card stock. It's small enough to, to be an ATC card. I think that's what I'm going to turn it into. Because it'll fit in the envelope. So that's what this would probably end up being. Maybe, you know. So then I made, I did a couple, well a few um, memory decks cards. And I use my envelope punch board to to do the memory dex cards because I don't have a memory dex die. And then I use my um, hole puncher to do the holes at the bottom and just my uh, scissors to cut the slots at the bottom. And then, so these are not decorated. So this is the front. This paper right here is actually was my favorite paper from the collection. And then this is the back of the uh, card, and then this is the back of this one. Now with this one, I I did decorate it some. I don't know if I add any more to it, but this is this one. So it is um, I did a little dress and some high heels. So the dress is um, you know the paper um, cupcake muffin tin liners well cupcake liners for the uh, muffin pan that's what the bottom of the dress is and then the top of the dress and the belt and the shoes is just black cardstock and then I trimmed it out with my white gel pen then I put a few of the um, enamel dots that I do with my cardstock and my glossy accents and then I did a um, let's party uh, tag at the top and then on the back I did the um, where you can write your information then I just outlined it with some um, distress oxide squeeze lemonade so it don't be so much white popping out at you so you have that now the cards so we have this one now the, the first few cards I want to show um, could use some more decoration. I just haven't figured out what I want to put on them yet, but I know they need something else. When I figure it out, I'll do it. So, 
um, this is the first one and then the inside just blank so you can write your message and then you have this one the only um, paper on here that is from the collection is this striped blue paper the other paper is just cardstock I already had so this is another one that um, I know it needs something else I just haven't figured out what I want to put on there and I don't know what direction I wanted to go in if I wanted to be landscape or portrait yet so when I figure it out I'll do something about that then you have this one this one is like a um abstract card because it has uh, three different pieces of uh, paper these two are from the kit this is just black card stock that I use then I use my white gel pen to put dots and then this is from the collection and I just cut those out those uh, circles out and matted them but these two have dimension so um, so it has some height and um, again I use my uh, design uh, scissors to cut that like scalpy edge around the blue and the black circle that I matted the polka dot circles on and then that's the inside of the card now we're getting into my favorite cards so we have this one Cause remember I said this was my favorite paper I love this 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 is my favorite paper out of the collection kit so I cut these into strips and matted it onto some black um, cardstock and then that is just put onto the card base which is gray so you can see the gray in the in between the, the in the space there and then that's the inside of the card and then I just trimmed it with that same paper at the bottom and then we have this one now bef before I put the rosette on there now I had made the rosette but I hadn't decided that I was going to use it on here before I did that the card was just just the card it just had the this paper on it nothing else and I knew it needed something else so I said let me try with the this strip of polka dot paper and this rosette and when I put it there I'm like oh I like that so that'll work I feel, I'm feeling that so that's what I went with and then I remembered I had a um, a word that I cut out that was left over from another project so I put that on here so you had a thanks up here and then this uh, four that's just uh, I cut that circle out and put that there that's from the collection kit too and so I was thinking now if I can find either a stamp or a word die um, that says uh, being you then I can put that down here because it'll work together it because it'll say thanks for being you so I'm gonna I think that's that's probably what I'm gonna do so I probably hold on to this for a while because I need either a stamp or a die that says being you because then I um, because that was not intentional, but I thought about that. It caught my eye that that will work together. So when I do that, then this card will be complete. So then that's the inside. Now this one is my favorite, favorite out of all the cards that I did. So then you have this one. So um, you have the music note paper. And... Um, this uh, strip of black and red banner going through the middle and then I use my um, Ranger archival ink to stamp happy birthday and then before I dry it I went over it with my um, my um, my clear the holographic embossing powder and emboss heat embossed that so it has like it has a shimmer to it I don't know if you can really tail but it's there um and then i use some of the, the paper from the kit to cut out the different shapes 
to make like sort of like a topsy turvy cake. And the candles came from a one of my paper pumpkin kits, the birthday celebration kit that they sent out a few months ago. And then the bottom of the cake is just um, using my same scissors, the decorative scissors. If you cut along the bottom edge of the paper, you'll get that that trim part down there. And I just use that to put at the bottom of the cake. And that's matted onto some gray cardstock um, behind it. And then it's, it also has dimension behind it, so it's popped up off of the card. So is the... Um, the music note paper that has some dimension behind it as well and then you have that red banner piece that's actually on the card base so I like this one a lot and then that's the inside, the inside just has the strip of music note paper over there so then I had another uh, rosette left over um, I just put one of the stickers on there so I can use this later in another project. Um, whenever I'm um, doing something that this will fit in. So. so that is it for the cards. So I have one more thing um, to show you. So I made um, a, a rosette kit package. So I made uh, four rosettes, two small ones, and two bigger ones. They are, they are not decorated because I figured if I give them away, I'll just uh, let the recipient decide on how they would like to decorate them. So it's using that same music note paper. And um, it has the, the bag topper even has the tag and the, the hole so if I guess if you want to hang it up or something I don't know and then the bag you know the um the book reports uh covers that we used to have to use when we we would have to um, do book reports when we in, when we were in school that's what this is so I had to cut part of it off so that meant this part was open and if you don't have the tool that to use to seal it back up. I can't think of what it's called right now, but um, I know crafters use it too when they're doing pocket letters, when they're doing pocket letter swaps. So if you don't have one of those, you gotta figure out how to close the hole up. Besides using a iron, which I didn't want to do, which I have done before, but I didn't want to do that for this. So I just use cardstock to close up the side over here. So that's the black trim over here and then that's the back um, is uh, has a black mat on the back of the bag and then um, this part slides out so you can see the black there so these are the rosettes so if you know I give them away Anybody, whoever receives them can do whatever they like to them, decorate them however they see fit. So that was my last thing for the September 2019 um, hashtag no paper left behind challenge. Um, what did I have left? I had, a, I had a few, just some odds and ends left. And I had a two pieces left that's big enough to make either card or to cut them down into um some tags so that's probably what i what i'll do so this is all i have and i have the ends of the the 12 by 12 paper um you know the part at the bottom that has the salvage edge well that's what you call fabric the salvage but it's like that the salvage edge of the paper so those, that's all I have left. So I have this, and I have a few stickers. So with these, I have already started to make like a, some a few tags. So that's probably what I'll do with some of these. Make them into some tags like this, or some um, 
Yeah, because I think they're only really big enough for some tags. But this one, I probably can use my tag dies um, for these. But other than that, that's it. So that's all I have left. And I'm just storing them in this little craft bag. Craft paper bag. So what paper will I be using for the month of October? That is a very good question. Now I wanted to use um, the Orchard Hill paper kit um, from Recollections, but I couldn't find it. I tried and um, I just couldn't find it. So that meant I had to rethink what I wanted to use. So I am going to go with this right here. Let me see, move this over. This will be the paper that I am using for October. This is Autumn Dream. Autumn Dream by Recollection. So thank you guys for watching. Please go and check out the other ladies. Um, Daniela Hayes, uh, Susan Tootsie Tucker, uh, 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 Crafting and Relaxing, who is Sarah, and uh, Robin's Feathered Nest. And also, I believe some other ladies are joining. I believe I am, Sarah mentioned that some other ladies were, were going to join for October. So when they do... I will mention their names in, in um, October's uh, video. Um, so that is it. So thank you so very much for joining um, me once again. And I will see you guys in the next video.